Rifleman. Starring. Hey, ho, ho, ho. What is this Rifleman music? My gosh. Did you hear Gunshot in the building? No, that there is the Rifleman theme song. Because who do we have on the show today is Frank Burgeon, owner of Halfcock Gunsmithing. That's it. Now, Halfcock Gunsmithing. Frank has been in the business now for over two years. Halfcock Gunsmithing offers diverse range of exclusive products and solutions at affordable prices. They pride themselves on providing high quality products and offer a quality guarantee on all items, small or large. Your request will be met with expert advice, individualized intention, and innovative solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a round of applause for Frank Bergen with owner of Hack Hop Gunsmithing. Thank you. How are you doing, Frank? Good, good. My wife and I from the Figueroa's, we want to say thank you for joining us on our Connecting the Dots Network. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. So you're located in the city of Clovis. In Old Town, yes. Old Town, Clovis. Yes. For a half cock guns, gunsmithing. So how long have you been in business? Well, we've only been there since April the 1st. Okay. I worked out of my home for a couple of years and I've been doing this. Well, I actually started helping my father who was a gunsmith when I was nine years old and I've done it all through my life. So oh, wow. This constantly makes it... So what type of guns? I mean, you've got a lot of guns that you work with, I bet. Well, there's tons of different guns out there, but uh, I work on all of them. All of them. Did anybody ever bring a cannon in there one day? Or? No, but I've actually had the pleasure of going out and shooting cannon... I mean, bowling balls. Oh, get out. Cannon. Tell me more about this. Oh, just a lot of fun. Really? Yeah, you, they use black powder like you use in a muzzle loader. Uh, there's three different kinds of black powder. One is designed for cannons, and they shoot bowling balls. They go almost a mile. Where the Ooh. heck do you do this at? Well, you don't do it in your neighborhood. Uh, of course. <laughs> hey, you know, see that car right over there, Frank? Yeah, and for that blue Honda over there, you know, let's see what we can No, we don't do that. Kids don't do that at home. <laughs> I love it. So tell us, um, so you fix guns? My, my strong suit is gun repair. I'm a gunsmith. Okay. But our store is a complete gun store. We sell ammunition, we sell guns, we buy guns, we sell all accessories, scopes for rifles, holsters, you name it, we have it. Wow. And that's what, folks, this day and age, it's all about protecting yourself, too. It, it is. It is. You know, I saw something. I did my due diligence when we were talking to Frank. Um, my wife and I were putting stuff together, and Frank, I got to say, you YouTube. Halfcock, owner of Halfcock Gunsmith, and you YouTube it. And Frank actually created his own YouTube videos out there that shows you how to go out and clean guns and all that. And I, I gotta tell you, Frank, I was very impressed when I saw that. Well, thank you. You got what, over 23 videos out I have there? 23 videos. On 23 videos. And you did this all on your own? I did. Um, whenever I work on a gun, uh, I go to YouTube, and if there's no videos about that gun, I do one. Did you hear that? Did you repeat what you just said? Well, I just I make a video of anything that's not already there. That allows people to to learn about their own guns and mover and shaker. If yeah. it's not out there, create it. I, I I do. And that because you create it, it gets your name out there by the power of social media. And the more you're out there, I mean, gosh, you're out there making your own YouTubes. You know what? I have some people on the show saying, oh, I don't touch social media. Uh, this is not for me. This is, you know, I'm too old. I don't do this. And I think, what are you? Of course you're too old. Listen to yourself. <laughs> of course you are what you say. You know, I had a quote today. I was sharing this with my wife at lunchtime. You picture a canvas. It's called life. And you can create whatever color you want in life. It starts with attitude. If you can't, you tell yourself you can't do it, guess what? You can't. But if you tell yourself you could and believe in yourself, the tongue is your paintbrush. And what that tongue speaks, life, you create life. And this is, goes back to Frank. Do you guys believe that? I mean, gosh. And Frank's 73 years old. He shared that with me. With his permission, he says, yeah, you can share that, Albert. I said, yes, this is great. For those that say naysayers and they say I can't, guess what? You're going to stay where you're at. 
but for those that just showed up and do it, and you did, I seen something out there, it's not out there, Creator, I gotta give something, oh God, Frank, this is good, this is good, I love it. So you're out in Clovis then, where about in Clovis are you? Well, we're on 4th Street between Woodworth and Pulaski. If you know Clovis, there's a uh, American Legion Hall. Oh, okay, yes. We're right across the street. Perfect place for you, right across the street there, down the street from the veterans too, aren't you? Yeah, yeah we're, um, <clears throat> it, it's a good location, and Clovis is so receptive to small business. Yes. And I can say Fresno is not. Ooh, wow. ooh, that's a bold statement. Well, that's I, a bold only statement. Only because I've been there and done that. And he's got a t-shirt to back that up. Really? Wow, I like that. Well, let's give it up for Clovis then. Woo! I like that. All right, well, the people in Clovis loving you more. I'm feeling that from you. And it's all about helping out the community. It is. It now, is. what's the difference? Well, that's a good subject. What's the difference between Fresno and Clovis? What did you experience? Well, you got me curious. It, it, you guys are curious? It, it starts at the parking meter. Oh, parking meter. They don't have them in Clovis. You want to just shoot that right there. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you, you have to pay to park. But uh, uh, just briefly to, to share with you what happened, the, the Fresno zoning people have turned gun stores over to the concealed carry people. No. They don't know what they're doing. They're retired PD. They, they know all about concealed carry, but they have no idea about business licenses. But that's who they dumped it on. Oh. I put my application in. I was open for six months when I was told my zoning was wrong. Ouch. C6, it had to be. I was in M1. So I said, well, I don't remember seeing any C6. He said, well, there really isn't any. I said, well, then I should be able to get a zoning variance. Well, you probably can, but it's a $5,000 non-refundable application fee. Ooh so I was done with Fresno. Well, hello, Clovis. Yes, you bet. <laughs> Hey, I got to tell you, Clovis Chamber loves it. This is how we connected, right? Yeah. Connected sure. the dots was via through the Clovis Chamber of Commerce. Let's give it up for Clovis Chamber of yeah. Commerce. This is how we all start connecting. The, the, this we got involved here with the yeah. Clovis Chamber. This is how we met. Yes. And then you also connected the dot with your partner there with A1 Locksmith. Yes. Yes, Marty and I share the building. Hello, Marty. You're yeah. out there. Hi, Marty. Hey, Marty. Oh, this is good. This is good. Was there anything else that we'd like to share with us? Or? Well, I, I happen to be a, a Second Amendment supporter. Yes. And yes. I, I'm a conservative. And I love it. Well, I love it. This is where the unity comes in. People like-minded. Who do you know? But I, I, I'd like to share one thing with you if we have a moment. And this is yours. Switzerland is the safest country in the world. Oh, yes, it is. Everybody in Switzerland has a gun in their home. They have to serve in the military. They take their gun home with them. They have to stay proficient with it. It's the only country that Hitler did not invade. Why? Because it had an armed militia at the snap of a finger. That's what our Second Amendment is all about. Amen. And, Amen. And I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of people having guns and the gun laws that, that our very wise people pass make no sense. We have laws that only pertain to the law-abiding people. The criminals don't care. Hello. Yeah. So, I Hello. Mean, it's, Hello. Uh, so it, it, it's sense. depressing, and I'm, I'm currently going through the process with the DOJ. It's an uphill battle, but yes. I'll make it. You're dang right you will because you, you, you're creating it. Well, I, it you it are. Happen. You are creating it. You are. We're just rooting for you, Frank. We're yeah. rooting for you. We're, We're rooting, rooting for you. This is good. But, you know, you're absolutely right about Switzerland. Young people, do your homework. Look at back how it was in 1938, 39, when the Germans came by and, and, and with Poland and all the other countries, yeah. they started taking it over. Well, they did the same thing. Let's take out the gun laws. Let's do this, our government. And before you know it, they weren't there to defend themselves. And Switzerland had their guns, and Hitler just said, I'm not touching that one. I'll just eat the chocolate. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. But hey, it makes a lot of sense, folks. Do your homework. There's a lot of history here that he's sharing with you, and be real. And this is what it's all about, because history repeats itself. And learn from the wise. Do you guys agree? Oh, God, this is good. Right on. Frank, is there anything else that we can share? Well, if you have a gun that's broken, bring it in. I'll fix it. You happen to have one right there? Oh, no, no. Uh, 
I know, I left the gun at home. Sorry about that. It, I to me, I've got a nine-year-old grandson, and I, I, I introduced him to guns at the age of five. Yes. Some people say, "Way well, that's way too early. And I, I don't think so. We, we go out shooting maybe once, twice a month. We have a great time. Oh, yeah. He, know, he knows gun safety, and it's just it's a great family sport. You don't have to go kill animals. You can no. go shoot targets and have a good time and... Uh, I just I, I guns are part of my life and and if you don't like guns that's fine. Hello, but don't tell me I can't have them. Come on now, come on, come on. So you got a grandson that's nine years old. Yeah, nine years. I did. This is quality time with granddad. Oh boy. I mean, gosh, money doesn't buy this, especially from nine years old and he grows up to be twenty-five. I had that time with my grandfather. I'm telling you, man. Oh God, <laughs> I got it. Just like oh. Uh, Guys, this is what it's about. Do you feel the love? Do you guys feel the love? Oh, man. Oh. Frank, I got to say thank you for being on our show. My, My wife and I say thank you so much. And then, um, hey, how, what, what kind of music we got there, Bill? Bill's out there helping us out in the background. What do we have? That rifle man music goes again. Remember, Frank Burgeon, owner of Half Cock Gunsmithing, where? In the city of Clovis. Come on, brother. Let's give Frank a round of applause. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Stay tuned. We'll be right back right after these messages.